All right, welcome back. It's Back to the Basics. I'm Sean Barr, and today we are talking about PTR Records. That's I got an IP, I need a host. Let's go! We are back and we are talking DNS records, specifically PTR records or pointer record. So what is a pointer record? It is the reverse DNS of a particular host. So for example, if I typed in 1.1.1.1, it's going to give me a host name, host.xyz.com. The record that supports that functionality is called a PTR record. And where are these going to come into play? Well, if you're on the internet and you're doing a reverse DNS lookup or you're doing a trace route, it's going to pull those records from the authoritative domain and it's going to be pulling the PTR record. If you're managing DNS internally, typically you are going to own those PTR records. So for things internally, uh, you may want to ensure that critical services have an associated PTR record. Or if you do a trace route internal to your network and you don't see host names and you see those timeouts uh, and you're like, why did I get these timeouts? Your internal DNS server needs PTR records for those particular IP addresses. Now when we're talking about Windows systems or, or systems in general, typically when DHCP issues out an address and they see the host name that, that they're issuing that to, they will automatically create a PTR record. Some DHCP servers do it, some DHCP servers don't do it, but more often than not, the PTR records are automatically done for you when you get a DHCP address. But if you have things static in your environment, like firewalls, routers, switches, all of those things don't dynamically register typically, you are assigning those IP addresses. And in most cases, uh, or in a lot of cases, you're not assigning a DNS name. So when you do trace routes inside of your environment, you don't get, you don't get any information back. And you see these timeouts. How you fix that is you create PTR records, and if you don't have forward lookup records for those, you should create both. Um, and then you'll see magical things happen when you do a trace route. All right, that's really it, PTR record. It's if you have an IP address, you want the host name, that's what it does for you. If I said anything in this video that you go, hey, I'd love to know more, make sure you leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next Back to the Basics. Thanks for watching.